Hey guys, Dr. Emily and Dr. Dan here at Turat Chiropractic. And we just wanted to share with you guys um, five big tips we feel make a huge difference in surviving COVID as it's already August now. This started way back in March and we're getting towards the end of summer now. Days are getting shorter. <laughs> Sun sunshine is closing in in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. So um, we're probably gonna be at home for a couple more months. We wanna share some tips for you guys to kind of survive the rest of this journey. Yeah, and you know, I think we all started off thinking that this was gonna be short term and now it's definitely turning into a longer term event for everybody. Here in the office, we're starting to see people come in that we haven't seen for months. They're feeling more comfortable getting back out into the environment. And we've definitely seen uh, an overall decline in people's health. We have seen some patients that have gotten really healthy. They've been exercising twice a day, mm -hmm. eating clean, maintaining good exercise, maintaining good sleep. Uh, but the majority of people that come into the office have an increase in all their health conditions. People have put on weight, uh, people have moved less, they've gotten out of their gyms and they've really like lost all sense of regularity and routine. Mm -hmm. So these are our top five COVID relief tips. Tip number one, maintain your sleep regularity. So try to make it to bed at the same time and wake up somewhat similar every morning. We hear people every day that say, I roll out of bed at 8.30 and I'm on my computer at work at 8.35 and they're working 8.35 till four or five o'clock and not eating well um, and totally off a of routine, right? So tip number one, maintain your sleep regularly. You try to set a bedtime and stick to it and try to wake up don't just roll out of bed and go straight to work, but wake up, um, take a shower, do some stretches that you can watch some of the other videos on and, and really search and hunt for that like six to eight or even eight and a half hours of sleep so that you can maintain a decent regular sleep schedule. Your body loves the schedule. It releases hormones based off what it thinks you're going to be doing during that time throughout the day. If you're getting ready to go to bed, your body's getting ready to go to bed. If you're waking up in the morning, it's waking you up and getting you energized for the day. If you're just rolling out of bed and then sitting at your computer chair half awake for the next eight hours, it's going to throw everything off. Yeah. So another tip um, is also get outside, go out in the sunshine while we still have it and um, absorb some vitamin D. Uh, vitamin D is great for, again, immune, your immune system, um, but even just your mood, get out in some fresh air, take your shoes off, walk in the grass, feel grounded. Um, little things that people kind of take for granted, especially once we're in the winter months and we're not going to be able to get outside as much. Coming up quick. Mm -hmm. Tip number three, try to include a little bit of meditation throughout your day. Um, you know, we've seen a lot of people obviously strapped to their computer Zoom meetings constantly. I know, I know uh, people are coming in every day and they've got meeting after meeting after meeting. They're on video calls all day long. Uh, that's not our job. We're dealing with, you know, dealing with people all day long and working with people all day long. So it's good that they get to break away from their computer, come into the office for a treatment or come over to the gym and work out a little bit now that we're back open. Uh, but uh, tip number three, get into a little bit of meditation. Close your laptop screen, turn your computer screen off, close your eyes and clear your mind. And you can do this for one minute or even up to 10 minutes. And what we want to focus on is that nice relaxed breath. So Dr. Emily and myself have both seen a number of TMJ patients. People have been stressed, so stressed because of COVID, stressed because of work, stressed because they're at home and they're off their sleep schedules, they're not outside as much. Uh, so 3262 is the numbers that we want to think about when we breathe and we work on putting ourselves in that parasympathetic state, that rest and digest state. So tongue gently presses to the roof of your mouth, your teeth stay open and your lips are closed. Make sure that we're not clenching our jaw and let's all work on a nice three second inhale down into the abdomen. A two second hold and then a slow six second exhale, three, two, one, and then a two second hold. So that breath that we want to work on, it's a three, two, six, two breath, three second inhale down into the belly, two second hold, a six second slow exhale and a two second hold. The best position that I think if you're going to maintain uh, your meditation at your desk, you can sit at the edge of your couch, you can touch your fingertips together, gently roll your shoulders open so you can get into your back chain.
and hold that position for anywhere from one minute up to 10 minutes. It'll help you to clear your mind, to take all the clutter out of it. Uh, and it's really gonna help to, again, improve the posture and reduce some of the stress. Focus on your jaw, make sure that you're not clenching your jaw. Very important that we start to develop that mindfulness when we are stressed at work, you have to address the stress. The stress will address you and it's gonna cause you to get tight. Address the stress, knock it down on its bum and work on your uh, diaphragmatic and your meditative breathing for anywhere from one to 10 minutes, at least once a day. But if you can up that to two or three or four sessions a day, it'll help to reduce stress and um, assist with all the other tips that we're going through. Yeah. So another tip then that's very important for staying healthy during this COVID time is going to be healthy food choices. So especially when you're sitting at home, it's easy to kind of stock up the snack and pantry cabinets with junk food that'll be ready quick whenever you're hungry or want to snack throughout work. Um, typically, whenever you are working out and you're being physical, like physical and healthy throughout the day your body craves clean healthy food and when we're sitting kind of junked up all through our body then you also crave junk so clean up the nutrition side of it a little bit and get moving or once you start moving some more you'll want you'll crave that clean food but either way you want to fuel your body with the proper nutrients so that you're feeling your best throughout the day and tip number five you hear it every day from our clinic get moving properly don't slouch on the couch uh, implement some of the different exercises that we talked about whether they are wrist stretches thoracic spine and, and back chain dominant stretches as well as balancing out the different positions that you put your lower extremity into so start to try to time yourself internally if you're uh, sitting for three or five or ten minutes with the legs crossed over this way make sure that we even it out by crossing the opposite way same thing for the figure four stretch, right side up and left side up. Uh, get up, stand tall, feet straight. Whoops. Get up, stand tall, feet straight. Get that nice big back extension throughout the, uh, throughout the day, three to five times. And you can start to work on a little coiling or a little twisting, left elbow down and right elbow down so that you can loosen the spine up. All of these tips that we talked about today the top five tips are going to help to improve the quality of your life. You'll start to feel a little more energized. Hopefully you can get a little bit uh, onto a more regular sleep pattern as well as a healthier diet plan. And drink water too. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that for nutrition. Drink water. People sit and stare at a computer all day. It dries out your eyes. It dries out your entire body. Um, you should be trying to drink eight ounces of water every hour or so. And at first you'll feel like you have to your body rejects the water, have to go to the bathroom constantly, and that deters people at first. But once your body starts absorbing it, um, you'll wake up with clear eyes. You'll feel so much better throughout the day. Joints will be more lubricated. Drink your water at home. Absolutely. All right, All right guys, stay healthy during COVID. We don't know how much longer this is going to go on, but we hope that you can improve your health while you're at home. If you need help, give our office a call. Check us out on social media or YouTube for a bunch of different movement tips as well as diet and nutrition tips. If you're feeling sluggish, fatigued, and in pain, again, reach out to myself and Dr. Emily here at the office. We can help you guys to get back to a better quality of life.